Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing something different. <laughs> I found this adorable little trash can on Amazon and I don't think I've ever seen anyone else do this so I wanted to jump on that and be the first and I'm gonna paint on it. I honestly just I just wanted to like this trash can is so cute. It looks like a big one, but it's so little so it's it's cute and I just really wanted I just wanted to paint on it. I don't know and I thought it would make a fun video. So That's what I'm that's what I'm doing today So then I bust out my acrylic paints and just got to painting I did do a few like preliminary idea brainstorms before I started painting and basically I just wanted this like idea of like these blobby hills. I wanted everything to be really like shape focused and not too detailed because I'm like painting on a trash can. Um, but basically I had just this idea of like rolling hills, purples, pinks, greens, blues, uh, super spring timey. Like I have spring fever so hard right now. So I really just wanted to paint something springy and pretty and just something cute to go on this, to go on this trash can. It was at this point where I had an idea. I looked over to my husband, who was sitting on the couch, and I said, hey, do you think we can put holes in this thing? And my husband, I love him, he looked at me and he said, well, there's one way to find out. And so we got a drill and some screws and we started, we started seeing if we could put holes in it because my idea was to poke little holes in the trash can that I could eventually feed fairy lights through so it could light up. So luckily this thing is not the strongest trash can ever because with just a little bit of elbow grease and some pointy screws and a drill we were able to just put a bunch of holes in it and it worked out so beautifully. Uh, we used like two different screw sizes so we could get the hole big enough to fit the little lights through and it worked like a dream and then i have these like battery operated fairy lights that are super super tiny so literally i just like put the lights in the trash can and fed the actual light up parts through the little holes and because it's like wired they i could position them in like the perfect way and then it just it looks so cool and i'm like so jazzed about this guys like I did not go into this project thinking that this was what I was going to do, but I'm so proud of myself for thinking of it because I love how it looks. Then after I was done putting all the holes in and making sure that all the lights fit, I went on to finish up the background. So when I put the holes in, I did scratch the paint a lot. So I wouldn't recommend <laughs> doing anything the method I did because I actually ended up with a lot of sharp edges on the inside of the trash can and I did totally slice my thumb open so I didn't I don't think I went about it the most safe way but if you are doing something like this I would leave the painting to the end because like any any kind of scratch or abrasion that I put onto the can did scratch the paint off and from there, I just finished up the rest of the background. The paint went really smoothly onto the can. I did have to use two or three layers for most of the paints, but once I did that, the colors looked beautiful. They popped really nicely against the silver of the can, and it was just a dream to paint on, really, surprisingly. <laughs> then I wanted to add some dimension to these rolling hill shapes. So what I did was I mixed a color that was darker than the base color, and I just, applied that to the bottom parts of the hills and then I used some water to just kind of drag that color upward and I think this actually did quite a lot in just making it look more like a little environment on the can instead of just a bunch of shapes and symbols um, and yeah just a little bit of shading went a really long way. Basically from here on out I kind of winged the rest of it. I was just seeing where this project was taking me. Uh, you see here now I'm drawing just a little sketch of a girl and I, my idea was to have her like reaching up toward one of the lights. So I sketched her out on a piece of paper beforehand just to like hash out how I wanted her to look and the shapes I wanted to use. And then from there I sketched her directly onto the can and because I had the paint already on it, um, I was easily able to make the graphite show just on top of the paint. And then once I was happy with that, I just went in and started painting. I think this girl came out really cute. 
it's not often that I draw people from behind. So this was also a new thing, but I thought that she just, I don't know, she has like a lot of movement for not being that detailed. And it looks like she's actually reaching up to grab one of the lights. And I just think she turned out cool. Honestly, I keep saying it. I keep like tooting my own horn throughout this whole video, but I just, I had so much fun because I just let myself play with the art supplies. I let myself think, would it be cool if I did this? And then I tried it. And then I was like, oh, cool. That did look cool. Maybe if I tried this, what if I do this? And I just, that's how I did the whole thing. And it turned out to be something that I'm really proud of. Something that I, I don't remember having this much fun on an art project in a very long time. And it was just, it was such a joy. And I'm just so, I'm so happy. <laughs> And then once that was done, I went on to paint some flowers. This was also really intuitive and didn't have a whole bunch of planning beforehand. I basically just started bobbing out some pink shapes and then I go back in and add some darker pink shapes. And then toward the very, very end, I go back and add more like shading and more highlights, especially to the yellow parts in the centers. But this was basically just trying to get the feel of flowers without trying to get too detailed because while I was able to layer to like different layers <laughs> on this, it was really hard to get really detailed. And that could be because my brushes are too big or I'm not that skilled in acrylic painting or because I was painting on a trash can. I really don't know, but I figured the simplest, the better. And then I also went onto the girl and just gave her some basic shading as well. I found that especially since I shaded the hills a little bit, whenever something was just a solid plain color, it just looked a little off to me. So I just went in with some different colors and just lightly blended them out. And how I did that was I would take a darker color, apply it onto the can, and then apply the lighter color and just mix them together directly on the can. This part of the video makes me really sad. <laughs> I thought it would be such a cute idea to add a sneaky little chameleon somewhere on this can because, I don't know, I wanted to add something green because the color was so bright and pigmented against the purple. So I, I thought a chameleon would just be really cute. And I am actually insanely proud of myself for this chameleon. I've never drawn one before and I just think he turned out really cute. Uh, but then my dumb hand was covering the entire painting process. When I painted the girl, I had another camera set up, and I guess I just forgot to do that for this chameleon guy. So unfortunately for most of the actual painting, you can't see it, and that makes me super bummed. But I will have some more close-up shots at the end, and you'll see him more throughout the video as I turn the, you know, the can all different directions. But um, yeah, that, that made me cry a little bit when I saw it. <laughs> Totally unrelated to this video, but did you guys know the blue whales are so large that their hearts weigh the same as a car? Isn't that neat? And then once I was done with my little chameleon dude, I went on to painting more flowers. I wanted to add more variety of colors and shapes into my little garden I have going on. So I added some orangey daisy type flowers and some purpley tulip like flowers. And I think they worked really nicely. And then all that was left was the stems for the flowers. I did want the different flowers to have different colored stems because I thought it would be nice to pull different colors of greens into this. Um, and I like how that came out too because I used like more of a blue green and then a really yellow green and then a true green. And I just think it looks more interesting than using like the same color green all the way around. And then after that, I just added some really quick finishing touches uh, with some little yellow specks all over the place to make it look like maybe there were lights really far away and then after that i was i was done with the whole thing now i'm just going to show you guys a little turnaround of the whole thing so you can see all the details i hope you guys like it i hope you enjoyed watching this different video of mine i had a lot of fun filming it and a lot of fun making it let me know what you guys think let me know if you guys have ever painted on a trash can who knows maybe i'm not the first one uh thank you guys for watching and until next time see you all in my next video bye guys